go ahead and get started by exploring the Photoshop workspace. After all, this is where you're going to be spending the majority of your time when working inside of Photoshop. So I've already opened Photoshop on my computer and we're going to take a look at the main areas that make up the workspace. Now, first and foremost, you have the menu bar way up here at the top. And then right below that, we have what's called the options bar. Now, the thing to remember about the options bar is that it is highly dependent upon the tool that you currently have chosen. So, for example, over here, we have our tools panel. And you'll notice that if I click on, say, the selection tool, which I use to make general selections of content, that the options bar changes to reflect that modification. If I go to the lasso tool, which is used for making more specialized selections, you can see that that options bar reflects that change as well. Now, while we're talking about the tools panel, you can see that right now the tools panel is located on the left side of my screen and it's currently being displayed in a single column configuration. And if you prefer to look at it in a double column configuration, you can go ahead and click on this double arrow to switch it so that it displays two columns of tools instead of one. Now, there are many tools in here that you can work with. Now, we have the Dodge tool, as you can see here, that shows its own options up here. You have the Blur tool located right here. We have the Pen tool. We have the Type tool. We have a number of different tools, each designed for performing a specific operation. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and open up a couple of images so we can take a look at how they are managed inside of the workspace. So I'm going to go to File Open, and I'm going to navigate to the Session 1 folder, and I'm going to select the helicopter, and then I'll go ahead and hold down the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and select the seagull as well as the train and the tree. So we'll go ahead and choose Open, and that's going to open all of those images at the same time. Now, the thing to understand about Photoshop is that when you open up multiple images like this, each image gets its own tab up here at the top of the interface. So this main area is your document window, but you can click on each individual tab to kind of look at the different images.